Hi everyone, and welcome to another segment of Model Sneak Data. My name is Carrie. I'm Matthias. And I'm Emma. Today we'll be talking about the famous two-body problem. Before we get into the math though, let's talk to our resident physicist about what the two-body problem is. The two-body problem predicts the motion of two gravitationally driven objects in space. This is an idealistic equation, but still important when studying the movement of things like satellites, planets, and stars. The two-body problem has been solved analytically, but for large data sets, it is more efficient to use neural networks. So that's where I come in. We can build our neural network that helps us predict the value of the Hamiltonian for our problem. A neural network mimics the way neurons signal using nodes and layers to filter and alter information to ultimately produce an interpretable result. In our project, we use a special type of neural network called a residual neural network, as shown in the graphic here. A residual neural network uses information gathered from the previous forward propagation layers and skips layers that can hurt the performance of our model. For our forward propagation method, we decided to use relay method because we are looking at a specific kind of neural network that uses Hamiltonian ODEs. Hamiltonian differential equations are used due to their conservation of energy and can model things like a spring mass system and the two-body problem. In our neural network, we are using the relationships of Hamiltonian ODEs, which we can see here, to learn and predict the dynamics of our examples. To do this, in our forward propagation, we use our predicted Hamiltonian values in a relay discretization to predict position and velocity values at any given time. The new predicted values are then plugged into our mean squared loss function to be compared with the true value. Our results have turned out accurate so far, and we'll be comparing them to the Hamiltonian neural network developed by Gray Davis, as well as the ground truth values. For some preview of our results, this is our testing loss, and this is our training loss. 